Hey guys, I understand. This new Genie Plus thing that Disney is coming out with, they're really nickel and diming us. Uh, first they had made us pay for parking, even at resorts. Uh, then we had to, uh, you know, get rid of our magic bands, uh, no longer getting those magic bands uh, for free. You have to pay for those too. And now they're going to make us pay for the other free service that we got called uh, Fast Pass. Now it's going to be Genie Plus and it's going to be Fast Lane or something weird like that. So instead of being upset about it, because we could be, uh, we need to come up with new ideas for Disney to nickel and dime us. So I'm thinking that we could uh, come up with like a, a convenience fee for using the app. Uh, the app is free right now. It gives us free things like uh, ride times, uh, gives us mobile ordering. But what if we let Disney charge us a 1%, 1 convenience fee, a mouse fee, uh, just you know, give us that little magical mouse fee on, on top of what we already have for free. And if we buy our tickets digitally and don't have a physical version of it, then uh, we get charged a $10 convenience fee for using our phone to check in uh, to use it as a magic band or something like that. Also, uh, to kind of cut down on waste in the parks, they can still have the plastic straws for free. However, there will be a giant sign above them that says, uh, if you want to kill the earth, use this uh, plastic straw. However, if you want this environmentally friendly straw, it's an extra 50 cents on top of your uh, no refills drink that you're going to pay like $8 for now because they've priced hiked that as well. Um, I also recommend that any new rides, instead of there being a free line and then the fast pass one that you pay for, uh, that you also make the free line payable as well. So they charge a little bit more uh, to wait in line, and the longer your wait, the less you have to pay for it. Uh, so if you're waiting like 30 minutes, you only have to pay a dollar to get into it. But if you're waiting like five minutes or less, then it's a five dollar charge to get into the into the ride. Uh, so that will scale based on how long the line is. So even if you are at that five minute mark, you know if it's a 30 minute wait for everybody, then it's just a dollar. But you know if there's only a five minute wait for the new ride then that's a $5 charge. So there's many things that Disney could be doing to uh, better uh, alleviate the stress and the burden of running a theme park and getting millions and millions and millions of dollars for it. Uh, so we should be thankful for the opportunity that they're charging us only $15 for the Genie Plus instead of you know $40 like Six Flags does. So uh, there are worse things that could happen, but make sure you smash subscribe and tell 10 friends because that's free right now but we may start charging to do that.